everybody and welcome to hardcore minecraft and this right here this is my island spawn and my mission is to transform this entire place and make sure it looks awesome but today is gonna be a very special day we're gonna go fight that dragon <laughs> so let's prepare and step one in this preparation i changed my clothes <laughs> look at this thing you like this outfit it's perfect for fall vibes yep step one was fighting the dragon with some fashion this looks pretty cool I got a Christmas outfit too, but that's for another day. For now though, let's put this on. Now step two behind fashion. We need a bow and a good one. And I still haven't made one because yeah, I don't like fighting things here. So we'll end up fighting something today. So let's make a couple bows. Hey Bubbles, yep, it's dragon day today. Oh, you don't care? You just want food? Okay, fine. So let's try to see if we can get ourselves a couple good rolls here. Unbreaking, huh? All right, hopefully there's something else to that. Nope, power three. What's going on here? Did you do something to this? Oh, <laughs> boring. All right, that's a little better. I guess this will do for now. Oh, besides that, I do have a name for our Siamese kitty. It's naming speed run time. This beautiful kitty is called Enchantress. This is from Nina Rose. Super cute, but super slow horse. It's called Mayo. And this was from Chips. And Ruined Kitty is called Arthur. You like that, King? This was from Carly. And last but not least, Sir Carlos had a child last episode, and the child's name is Carlita. Como estas, Carlita? This was from Humble Gaming. <laughs> Thank you all so much for all the awesome name suggestions. Back to dragon fight preparation. I got sidetracked there a little bit, <laughs> but that's fine. Come on, Mayo. Now, something that I love to do whenever I fight the dragon is get some really good potions on hand. And a really important potion uses phantom membrane. Let's just grab some water. Drop it in here. Give me some of that wart. We're gonna plop that in there. Any more Sir Carlo kids? Let's see. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, not this time. Drop some phantom membrane. And let's drop a little redstone to make it stronger. There it is, slow falling potions. 12 minutes worth. We probably don't even need that much. We're professionals. Now the next bit we're gonna be needing is very important. We need eyes of vendors so we can find that stronghold. So for that, we're going into the nether. So let's take some fire resistance and let's make some more just in case if we're out there a little bit too long. And you're probably asking yourself, Sausage, why are you going into the nether when you need eyes of ender? You already have the blaze powder. Well, yeah, well, I also need some ender pearls. And the best place to get ender pearls is a warp forest. And we just need to head in that direction. Hello. Hello, Enderman. Where are you? Oh, there's one right there. Let me just dig a hole in here. Make sure it's only too wide. <laughs> we don't want him to sneak in here. And say hello to him. Hi, get in this boat. Any day now. Oh, God. There it is. Easy. And we didn't get a pearl. That's fine. We'll keep at it. Enderman killing montage. Go. Ooh, that would have been my death. Jesus. Oh, my God. Jump scare. Now I can make 10 of those, but, oh God, ow. But we're gonna need a little bit more, so let's farm some blaze. Ah, where you come from? Pumba ugly? Sheesh, you guys just dropped out of the sky. Leave me alone. What did you break? Oh no, not my gold helmet. Ah, they're coming. Rip, <laughs> take that dummy. That was my first kill with this thing. <laughs> uh, it took me long enough. I don't have a helmet, please be gentle with me. Thank you. All right, this'll do. And now we have all the eyes of Ender we need. Now the next thing that I'm thinking we need, which is probably overkill, is some netherite. <laughs> Why don't we go look for some ancient debris that we have all of these fire resistance potions on us. Now we're back here at the portal area and I'm thinking if we just dig down here, this might be a good spot for this. Now I'm at Y level 14. I think anywhere from 14 to 16 is good. So I'm just gonna dig up these three right here. Just go down this line for a little while. I know TNT is probably the best way. And on top of that, we just made a wool farm so beds could be a good way. But I think beds are just so messy. And I don't think I have any blast resistance on the any of these armor pieces. So I'm gonna be a little scared to click on those beds down here. So for now, let's try it like this. And eventually I'll make a creeper farm and we'll have infinite TNT and then we'll do that method. Give me your predictions too in the comments. How many ancient debris you think I'm gonna get from just breaking these blocks manually? The closest wins. All right, I did a little bit of damage down here. <laughs> we cleared all of this space out and this pickaxe. 
It's almost dead. So how many ancient debris did we find in this? Five. Just, just, just five. <laughs> All of this for five. We're gonna have to come back down here with more pickaxes. But for now, this thing is about to die. Let's get out of here. Oh, and this is the way. No, excuse me. I'm going first. I'm going first. No, 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 no. Let me, let me get in front. Let me get in front. Oh, oh, after you then. After you. Now, I do remember that we have to have some kind of a template, right? To make netherite. And it's only found in bastions. <laughs> I guess that's where we're going next. Well, for now, since we are always organized, I'm going to put the netherrack in the netherrack spot and the warp nylium where the warp nylium goes. Let's grab some extra food. Drop the extra end supplies here. Well, we don't need those. That's, there we go. That. Oh, we don't need that. Oh, yeah. That's pretty much all I have for now. Get some more gold because we got to make another helmet. There we go. And let's exchange pickaxes here. Smooth, you're going away. Criminal, you're coming with me. Actually, can I borrow um, this saddle? Mayo, thank you so much. I'll bring it right back, maybe. I probably won't bring it back. Just gonna need a little more string. Some warp fungus. I'm gonna make a fishing rod. And I'm gonna put one of these. There it is. Yep, we might be able to ride a strider. Ow. This might be my favorite day of all time. <laughs> Look at this cute little guy. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. I haven't ridden a strider in so long, but you know what? I still haven't found a bastion. I did find another fortress right there though, but it's uh, it, it's not looking good for the bastion. Oh, I saw Blackstone, I thought that was it. We got a bunch of little friends around here though. Look how cute. <laughs> this is so cool. I love riding striders. Name this strider right now. We'll probably never see him again after this, uh, this day, but you know what? He's gonna have a name while he's with us. So cute. I guess we're going down this path over here. Uh, hopefully I see a bastard somewhere around here. I've been traveling for about 30 minutes and I have not found a single bastion anywhere. This is intense. I don't know how much longer I can do this, but you know, we gotta keep going. It's gonna take me so long to get back home. But you know what? At least I have my little Strider friend with me. And they're my best friend now. Uh, so I guess I'm living in the nether. So you know, goodbye overworld, goodbye island transformation. This is my life now. And that's another fortune. I found another fortress before I found a bastion. That's fine. Oh God, Ugh, nothing. Oh, okay, I lied, I lied. Here we go, finally. <laughs> By fortress, I found my pride and joy right there. And that's a big boy too. Look at the size of that bastion. Oh, I hope it has what I'm looking for, please. I need that netherite template. All I need is one, and then I can copy it a bunch of times. Okay, forget any other stuff. You know, that, that's just a little bit of the icing on the cake. Okay, but you know, I just, I just really want, oh, that's brutes, that's certain death. I gotta be careful. This could be the end of the hardcore world if I am not careful enough. You know what? I'm gonna be the quietest little mouse of a hardcore player you've ever seen. Uh, I'm just gonna park my, my friend here on the side and, and hopefully we're okay. I'm gonna take one of these though. You never know. All right, I'm gonna have to try and get my friend kind of corralled in here. Oh, there it is. Um, so we don't lose them because if I lose my friend here, there is no way that I can get out of here swift enough. Oh, I hear bad men. Okay, this looks safe. You can be here, right? You're not gonna get cold, are you? You're gonna be fine? Okay, you're gonna be fine, perfect. Oh no, I saw a bad man. I saw a bad man. Okay, um, that's, uh, there's bad guys in there. Uh, this one I'm not so scared of. It's the other one that's behind him. I need you to get out of the way so I can get the pig boy. I gotta hit him. No! Oh, I went through! That was awesome. I think he's burning alive now. Oh yeah, he's definitely dead. Look at all that gold over there. Oh, there's a bunch of bad guys. I gotta be careful. Okay, we're in. We're in. Oh, this is scary. Where's the spawner? I gotta destroy it. Ow! You big boy! Get out of here. I'm breaking this. Ah! <gasps> Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, that was scary. That was scary. Okay, 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 okay. Um, I really need to get to where all that gold is at. There's a lot of good gold in there. There could be a chest. Covering this up. I cover this up. I cover this up. All right. Oh, they could drop down from here, can't they? They stay inside the walls, huh? This is how we're going to do it. We're going to hug the outside. We're going to live in the walls. <laughs> this is the smart way to do a bastion, right? Oh. No, let's not break anything that we're not supposed to. Let's do a quick perimeter check and see if we see any chest lying around. Sleeping in your walls, no big deal. Oh, I see you over there. I'm gonna take you out from here. Oh, oh, don't, 
Don't move, don't move, don't move, don't move. Ah, you lucky. Hi, you're nice. I don't like the brute friend of yours, though. I do not like them. Listen, I'm gonna grab your own gold and I'm gonna feed it to you. You're gonna give me goodies for it, okay? Okay, I'll see you in a little bit. Look at that guy. Hello. You wanna come over here? I got you. Turn around. Oh, no, I hit his friend. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. I wanted to kill that guy, not the, the other one. You're dead. Let me just take him out just in case. Hello. Oh, get destroyed. And he's burning alive. All right, this might be the shortest path to that chest right there. I don't see any brutes close by. I think I went a full circle around this thing. I think the brutes are upstairs. Oh, hello again. I think the brutes are upstairs. Uh, let's, let's do a little block off here. I'm going to make a little path. To get where I need to go. You can't go that way. Thank you. You just can't go. You know what? I'm going to take a fire res now. I might get yeeted inside that lava by those magma boys. Block ourselves from top to bottom. I'm playing this really safe if you haven't noticed. But you know what? I don't want to die anytime soon. I love this hardcore world. Get out of here, you stupid little magma. No brutes in sight. I think we're safe to get this thing. Let's grab this gold. Okay, we're good. Grabbing this gold. No bad guys anywhere. Okay, check the chest. Y yes! That's all we needed! Yes! Oh, baby! End of the right! Oh! We're gone! We're gone! We're gone! Oh, perfect! <laughs> oh! Wow, right in the center! Let's go! And there it is. All we gotta do is copy this over and over, and we're safe. Oh, and then the right ain't it. Let's go! I really want to check to see the other chest, but I really don't want to die either. Hmm. All right, I have all this gold here. If anything, I could throw it on the ground and they can get distracted by it. I think the higher you go, the more chests there are. But you know what? Uh, I don't want to press my luck. Uh, <laughs> it's so good grabbing this thing. I'm just going to sneak my way around here and go. You know what? We'll come back here later on after we get all of our netherite and we get extra strong that we can maybe defeat these guys with no problem. For now, <laughs> that's all I wanted. Let's go, my friends. We're out of here. Woohoo! Oh, there's no way I'm going all the way up there. No. Ah! Ah! No! Go, my friend! We're being attacked! Get out of here! Ah, uh, we finally made it home. Thank you, my sweet friend. What a journey this was. Oh, so nice. You can stay right here, okay? I'll see you soon. You'll always be my favorite strider. Mwah! Cutie. See you later. Oh, look at him go. Oh, he's so cute. I'm gonna miss him. Now, let's get out of here. Hey, Arthur. How are you? Oh, what a lovely night it is back here at home. Let's drop our ancient debris in here and smelt that up. Lovely. Now, I don't think I have a smithing table around, so let's make a quick one. Put it right in the middle. Boom. And then if I had to guess, it's diamonds all the way around like that. Let's put a bunch of them. Netherrack in the middle and the netherite upgrade here. Perfect. Let's just do more than one. <laughs> more. Oh, it's cut. there's so many diamonds. It takes so many diamonds. All right, let's just... Do five for now. Collect our scrap. Grab some gold. Make one ingot. So we got two right now. All right. So smithing table upgrade. The chest plate. And the netherite. Oh, that looks a fancy. Let's go. Oh, that looks so magical. I love it. Time for the air sausages. So template. There it is. And netherite. One, two, three. Yes! Oh, nice! We're 50% complete. Let's put our diamonds back, our templates back, our little scrap back. I'm gonna repair the smooth pickaxe. Hey, fairies! Because once this is repaired, I'm going back into the nether. All right, here we go again. Round two. We did it! Woohoo! Hi, Jelly! I'm back with more riches! That's right! Let's throw our ancient debris in here and light it all up! Oh, look at that! Now, we just needed it for the helmet and the leggings, but now that we have extra, I'm gonna put some on this sword. And there we have it! Three nether writing gets. Alright, let's do it! Oh, how pretty! We did it! Oh, baby! Cover me in debris. Oh, you saw that jelly? Ain't this awesome? Wow, this looks really good. Now, a big question. If you guys had netherite and you had a very fancy armor trim, what color would you have those trims? 
Me, right now, we have it with the amethyst, but it could be diamond, netherite again, gold, iron, copper, lapis, and redstone. Which one would be the best combination? Let me know in the comments what you think. What's your go-to armor trim color? And last but not least, my sword. Oh, baby, and I got a really good name for it, too. I asked this a long time ago, and I kept this name and just forgot to show you guys. The Everblade. Oh, that's such a good name. And this is from JB. Thank you so much. Wow, the Everblade. And as the sun is going down in our hardcore world, it's time to take a journey to look for that stronghold. in the stronghold is here oh look at this what are the odds we landed right inside the library oh please i know there are armor trims here my addiction is gonna get worse i need to find it oh yes yes okay that's good luck we're getting the most luck today what is this a break of three that's actually a really good book get out of here sand oh i really want all these bookshelves oh but i have fortune instead of silk touch on the x it's okay we'll be back to this place we gotta be careful. There are bad guys everywhere here. What's in here? Another one! Two eyes. All right, that's cool. Yeah, I think it's just that one. If you guys see another one and I don't, you just yell at me, okay? I hear a bad guy. Oh, more chest. Yes, another one! <laughs> so easy to find. Oh, here it is! Oh, perfect! Oh, no, Silverfish. Not today. Go away. Nobody ever keeps these. Now, let's hope nine eyes of vendor is enough. Oh, perfect. Yep, it's enough. One, two three four five six seven and oh i'm scared i'm scared to light this up oh man let's do it oh and we have one to spare get in there all right here we go time to be the dragon one two three. Oh, perfect we're in a box oh thank you oh th these are the the minecraft gods blessing us on this fine day <laughs> get up oh this is scary let's hurry up and get to the tippy top and there is the dragon. Oh, man, I'm going to look at an Enderman, aren't I? I can't believe I forgot the pumpkin. It's so critical. All right, let's get to work. There it is, we did it. All that preparation was worth it. We beat the dragon. <laughs> let's go. Ah, GG. Now let's grab this dragon egg. Boop. Oh, where'd it go? Um, oh, there you are. Place that torch down, and there it is. We got it. Ha <laughs> ha, perfect. Now that the dragon's dead, let's make a little bit of a journey and try to find an end city. The dragon ended up killing an enderman, so we got one ender pearl to get through this thing. All right, let's go on in. Hoo -hoo. Oh my god, what is this luck we have today? This is right through the gateway. Wow, okay. If any of you guys are playing on this seed, you're welcome. This is gonna be the quickest Elytra get ever in the history of Minecraft. Hello. Man, I love you guys and I need you in my life. Let's go. Oh no, don't hit me. Thank you. Oh, 
I get hit twice for it. Oh, I'm definitely using a data pack too. The double shulker shell drop. So every shulker should drop two shells. Because we need it for building, trust me. Let's go take a peek upstairs. Oh, oh, you missed. Get perished. Oh, that hurt. Nope. Not today. Oh, they hit me right in the face. I need your head. Thank you. Give me your stuff. Thank you so much. Oh, no, oh <laughs> they came out of nowhere. I see you out there. Oh, you sneaky boy. Oh, I gotta go get that. Oh, it's a big, nice chest over here. Oh, no, this is my fortune pickaxe. I can't take the ender chest. Let's get my slow falling again. It's my last one. Where's the ship? There it is. I'm gonna just go for the ship. I'm just gonna go for the ship. Hello. Slow falling is gonna help me a lot in this situation. Oh, we got this. There it is. The moment of truth. Let's go. Get destroyed. My first elytra in this world. Let's go. Whew. Let's take off my chest plate. Five, four, three, two, one. Yes. Woohoo. <laughs> look at this. We look amazing. Oh, baby. Oh, I forgot to bring rockets. Okay, listen. We prepared, but we didn't prepare all the way, I guess. We prepared 50%. We should have brought the pumpkin, the jack-o'-lantern, and we should have brought some rockets to take some flight out into this world. It's fine. Eh, nothing good here. Nothing good here either. That's okay. And a very important thing to get is this dragon head. Got it. I'm a dragon. <laughs> we still have 14 seconds of soul falling in case anything crazy happens. It's okay. I'm going to glide down. Woo! Look at this. How graceful. Ow. <laughs> I hate this room. I'm not going to do this room without a bow and arrow. That's no chance. All right. I think we did pretty good right here. I'm not looking anywhere but down in case any endermen are here. But we need to get out of here. Oh, no. I can't get out without killing an enderman. Uh, hmm. Come on down. Don't call your friends. I just need one pearl to leave. Thank you so much. Get over here already. Thank you. It's my little ticket home. All right, we'll definitely be back here later for more shulker shells. But for now, we're flying out of here. Oh, look how graceful. Oh, no. I saw one. Go. Go. <laughs> we beat Minecraft. So I spawned on top of a tree, <laughs> which is great. This is actual exact spawn on top of a palm tree. But we did it. Yes, Rosie. We're flying. <laughs> yeah, it's me. I missed you. Oh, thank you for the torch flowers here. You can have it. Yummy. Oh, look at this. This is a big accomplishment right here. Bubbles, we did it. Yes. You want the dragon egg? Here you go. You're welcome. Don't eat it. <laughs> it's not that kind of egg. Now let's grab some gunpowder, some paper. This could be our spot for endstone stuff. And three pepper. Let's make a bunch of rockets. But before we really fly in this thing, I got to grab some mending. We already have unbreaking, so all we got to do is add that. Add the mending. And I need a name for this elytra. Best name wins. I'll pick it in the next one. And now it's time to take our real first flight of the island. Let's go. Woohoo! <laughs> this is amazing. Oh, we can travel all over the place now. <gasps> Look how cool it looks from the sky. Oh, this is amazing. Sir Carlos, we made it. Yes. <laughs> oh, through the trees. Let's go. Can I make this? Oh, of course I can. All through these trees. Through the ruined portal. Woo! Oh, that's so fun. This is amazing. Let's go right through the middle. Bubbles! Yeah, yeah. Yep. This is awesome. Now that we came back from all those adventures, I think I got a good idea where to put this dragon egg. And I'm thinking we build ourselves another ship, but this time a much bigger one out in the water. Almost like if we're coming in from an adventure from that ship, bringing in that dragon egg. I got a really good idea, so let's get to work. Now let's start off with making a bunch of shulker boxes. So we got the chest and there we go. Nine shulkers, <laughs> that'll do great for now. And we can't have them default looking like this. Let's get some colors. Yep, that looks a lot cooler. Now for the ship, I'm thinking about three main wood colors. So of course, spruce, some oak, dark oak for sure. Mangrove is gonna look nice. And just a sprinkling of bamboo. Ah, shulkers, I love you. This is so good, <laughs> finally. I'm also gonna make a lot of fences because we need them to look like ropes. 
and the oak fence is the most ropey rope you can make with wood. That's right, Bubbles, I said ropey rope. And I'm going pretty colorful with the sails. So for that, I'm gonna use some of this terracotta and we definitely have to go get some more. But I'm gonna be converting this terracotta into yellow. I'm also gonna use some yellow wool and uh, we used most of it for the ancient city last time. So I'll let that build up. For now though, I can get the white and then we can just convert this into yellow. Well, that's still not enough. I need, I need more yellow. Let's fly out of here. Woohoo! <laughs> I love getting around with the elytra now. This is so quick. Let's pass by the moss farm and get ourselves some bone meal. How's this doing? Oh my lord! Um, yeah, we need to uh, unload this. Or maybe make another chest with a hopper. We're getting filled up! Look at that! How's the bone meal going? Oh! Yeah, we're, um... I'm just gonna shut this down for now. I think we're good. <laughs> Thank you, farm. You're beautiful. So if you want to get a little more yellow dye, we could just do this. The lovely sunflower. My favorite flower. Guaranteed. There's no other flower as nice as this one. It even smells good in game. Smell that. There we go. Tons of yellow wool. And now that we can get there way faster, let's head over to the Mesa and get even more terracotta. This literally took three rockets to get here. That's it. Oh, I love it. I love an elytra. This feels so right. I need more yellow. There we go. Now continuing with the color theme. I'm gonna be making some yellow terracotta, but this is gonna be the glaze kind. Some orange ones too, and fire that up. That's right, that's right, Jelly. We're using glazed terracotta. Mm-hmm, that's right. What? Nosy, look how pretty those look. And there's the orange ones. And now with the stuff we have in this shulker, this one, and this one, we should have enough to build a brand new ship to bring in the dragon egg. That's right, Bubbles. Look at that beautiful ship there in the distance. Doesn't it look awesome? I like it that it's in this specific angle. Because if you come towards this direction and into the boat, or the ship, sorry, you have this beautiful view just off the side. I just love it. I think we placed it on the perfect spot. And I'm not gonna be asking for names for this beautiful vessel. This ship is called the Moon Dancer 2.0. A little nod to my Pirates SMP ship. This is the new version of it. And it's so lovely, right? We had to use the yellow. It's so nice, just like sunflowers. And technically, when the moon is lit, it gives you this little color. I just love the yellow. It just contrasts very nicely. And we have this as our wheel to turn the ship. This is, of course, the captain's quarters where I sleep. Yep, I'm the captain of this ship. Sir Carlos is the captain of the other one. And this is where I write all my little memoirs of being a pirate, yes, in another reality. And then down below, this is where all the loot is at. <laughs> we got a bunch of gold, we got a bunch of pots filled with gems inside, I bet. More gold. And this is where I'm gonna be putting the dragon egg. Oh, nice. So much booty in here. And the head can just go randomly in this corner. Wait, it looks like it's eating the pot. Hold on. Okay, the head can go randomly in that corner. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, this looks great at night too, doesn't it? <laughs> it's so cool. But what do you think of this beautiful ship? I love it. Yep, that's awesome. So rate it right now, one out of 10 sausages. This instant, <laughs> look at that thing. And now that we have ships this big, there isn't really a dockside area big enough to hold it, right? We have this little fishing dock. We have Sir Carlos's cute little dock right here. I love it, Carlos, sorry. And this tiny, tiny little ruined one over here. So I think this area would be perfect for a huge project. And we're gonna do that first thing next episode. See you then.